many of the world's global challenges are impacted and affected by space. Airbus is at the heart of the space ecosystem, from space exploration and satellite manufacturing to solutions on the ground. We want to see how they're making a difference around sustainability, working with the wider sector and encouraging the next generation. The lungs of our forest play a vital role in balancing Earth's ecosystem, absorbing carbon and converting it to oxygen. Yet the only way to measure the carbon stored in the woody biomass of the forests is to take samples by hand. Until now, here at Airbus Defence and Space's UK manufacturing plant in Stevenage, the teams are building an advanced new spacecraft to accurately measure how much carbon our forests contain. It's the first ever satellite to use the P-band. The P-band bandwidth, 435 megahertz, is, is quite a long bandwidth, so it's about 0.7 of a metre, and that enables you to really see the big structure of the trees, the trunks and the big woody structures. Previous missions that operate at higher frequencies or shorter wavelengths only see things like the leaves and the very fine structure. They see the top of the canopy, but we can really see all the way through to the forest floor. This is my friend Shabley, and over here we have got Brian. These are development models for the Mars rovers, which the teams test here in the Mars yard in Stevenage. And the technology which they develop here can be used in all kinds of programs, for example, the Lunar program. Indeed, they're currently involved in the Orion spacecraft, which will take astronauts to the moon and bring them home safely. It's this kind of expertise that allows the 3,500 employees at Airbus Defence and Space in the UK to design and build all kinds of satellites, from scientific probes to Earth observation. We're the UK's space manufacturer. We've been here since the 1950s, and really our job is to deliver large space missions. Um, we're responsible for science missions, defence missions, um, telecommunications missions, the whole plethora of space projects. Part of Europe's aerospace giant Airbus, the UK teams feel proud that 25% of the world's telecommunications satellites started life in Stevenage. Our telecommunications business has really been at the heart of um, satellite TV, uh, mobile phone communication, as well as really at the center of defense missions. Um, and those telecommunications satellites are designed and developed here in the UK. Innovation is at the heart of the company, which encourages new ideas and blue skies thinking. I work in a department called Future Programs um, and we design the next generation concepts of satellites. This is our robotic simulator for simulating in-orbit servicing, assembly, manufacturing uh, on orbit. So what we're trying to do is develop robotics to build satellites in space, assemble them, ultimately making them cheaper, lighter and providing better services for people on the ground. In the UK uh, we have a really rich ecosystem of talents, um, of innovation through small companies and universities um, and we're seeing the UK Space Agency really try to drive UK technology um, to develop our own space programmes. This level of innovation is only possible thanks to the decades of expertise that people at Airbus in the UK have gained, learning from one project to develop the next. The heritage, the knowledge of our business is in our people. The more practical work that they do, the more missions they have to work on, the better they are. And the really growth area that we see in the UK at the moment is in defence. And the reason that the UK industry can respond to defence needs is because we've been working on science missions, we've been working on telecommunications missions. We've got the people ready to go to apply to these new defence missions. With satellites like Biomass helping us better understand our planet's changing climate, what drives the teams at Airbus is knowing their skills for building technologies in space are helping improve our lives on Earth. Especially when, like Carl, you've been working on Biomass for over 12 years. It very much is my baby, it's older than my children, but uh, <laughs> it's, uh, uh, we're really looking forward to finishing it and, uh, and seeing it in orbit and, and operating. 